This video is about how BTS is the past, present, and future of the Big Hit universe, also known as how the On Music video fits into the Big Hit universe theory. Hello everyone, this is a part of my Big Hit universe theory. I made a big video on this before, it's in the card, basically it's how BTS, TXT, and GFriend all connect together and to one big universe slash storyline. I say storyline, but I actually think that they all have separate storylines based in the same universe. Anyways, this is an extension of that because obviously On had not been out yet by the time that I released and finished that video, so this is me kind of just adding it on and showing you guys how this connects to that theory. If you like this kind of thing, please give this video a thumbs up and give me a subscribe because I post these things all the time. It's all I think about. Let's go. Okay, so let me explain. First, the On music video is the past. Remember, I said past, present, and future. On is in the past, a long time ago past. I feel like a lot of people got that impression and honestly, for good reason, because you just look at it and you kind of, you get that feeling that that's what they were going for. It's very apocalyptic, you know, there's a great battle, there's stuff that they're running from, you don't really see any technology, it feels primitive. Maybe they lost their technology, I don't know. But basically all that's left is there's like this wall thing. Also, we know that it's taking place on Magic Island. Now if you don't know, I'll briefly explain it here for you. Basically, Magic Island is G-Friend's home. They were born on the island, and it's directly related to both TXT and BTS. Basically, on the island there is a lake that grants special abilities specifically to the G-Friend girls, and probably to TXT as well. I made a video on how these two connect. If you just click the card here, I'll explain it in much better detail, but that's the basics that you need to know for this video. <laughs> but our proof that this happens on Magic Island actually is really obvious. You guessed it, it's the lake. The lake, like our lake. And not only that, it literally gives Jungkook a gift, like a conch shell. It's a gift. It I don't even have to make this up. It takes Jungkook's curse or like his bindings, you know, and it gives him a conch shell. And basically when he blows the conch shell, the volcano erupts and it gives him the ability to move everyone forward by destroying what they used to know, destroying possibly old ideas and creating new life, sort of like moving forward. And from a psychology perspective, especially Carl Jung's perspective, this is a thing that you need to happen to grow as a person. Remove your old ideas so you can let new ones bloom. By the way, the same thing happens in real life when you gain muscle. Your muscle literally tears itself and then repairs itself, and that's why it hurts. But also, you know, it destroys itself to become better. And this happens in all things. Basically, sometimes something has to be destroyed to create something newer, stronger, better, you know, just everything. I, that sounds like a song. This same imagery is used in fake love when they come out and they put on the masks and they get squished by the building. They just basically, I think they destroy their masks and then that gives them the opportunity to later grow and become better versions of themselves. By the way, the parallel here is from the VCR and the fifth muster where Jungle literally goes there for healing, same as the lake. Like there's, whole, there's a whole skit with it. It's in the fifth muster please go watch it it's actually really funny and so basically what i'm saying is this lake is tied to the magic shop which is on magic island or tied to the magic island so yes in on for the first time hi it's just editing lena here something interesting was dropped they released the behind the scenes video that they do usually they, they do that and there was some really interesting information about the jungle in that video basically he tells you exactly what he was running from which i previously had no idea he says, I was doing well within the wall, but I had this special power. And people saw that and said, he's the devil, and locked me up, and then cast me out of the wall. So he was literally, he was literally thought to be the devil. <laughs> Which sounds exactly like Crown, like Na TXT's Nap of the Star Crown. So basically he was special and then was cast out because of that. And this also leads into something else that I will talk about later in the video. But like this just adds to the theory that he already actually had a power and then he finds this lake that blesses him. Oh boy. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's just keep going. Let's go back to the video. And also an important note about Magic Island. I think it's meant to be like a literal reflection of the mind where it produces literal physical like results for things that are happening in your consciousness and your unconscious mind. Also, yes, I know I said I would create a video explaining Magic Island and like the rules and stuff, and I am. 
it's it's coming i swear <laughs> anyway jungkook's suffering is i think for the people sort of similar to like the child of omelas omelas I don't know how to say that. Anyways, that story, uh, the same one that Spring Day was based on, I think that's a reference to that one. And yet his escape from the walls, which is a reference to Maze Runner, seems to be the catalyst for these events to take place. Like that's how come everyone sort of springs into action and begins to gain hope and the walls open. Also, if that is a reference to Maze Runner and that's a maze that it's supposed to be like signifying, then it could tie into the maze in Ego and the maze that is talked about in G Friend's Labyrinth, which is their song, which also means maze. And there's this picture of a maze behind G Friend in a Crossroads performance. It's in the same shape as TXT's Philosopher's Stone, which ties into Carl Jung's theory of self-actualization, so we can assume that when they re-enter it, it is re-entering like the state of mind where you are basically trying to achieve self-actualization. Also, Jungkook is notably not with the other six members at the part where the door opens, and yet when Jin reveals his like revived dove, which generally means good luck and new beginnings, and he likely revived it through inadvertent time travel. Some people theorized that that was actually Jin reviving and releasing Jungkook in the form of this bird. And the end scene of this music video actually says that it's starting a new beginning. Why? Because this is the rock from Lion King. And where does this rock appear? Right in the beginning of Lion King. The beginning. A new beginning. It's, it's a beginning. You know what I mean? But what new beginning? What am I talking about? New beginning? What? Because this is the beginning of a cycle. Let me reiterate this again. BTS is the past, present, and future. Everything is sort of happening all at once in the music video, like there's several different things happening at the same time. But basically, Jungkook trades in his curse, his bindings, his like, suffering, which is similar to the crown of thorns for the conch shell, which symbolizes hope. And in a way, this act itself could eventually become myth, which would elevate him to the status of a god. In fact, I think everyone here would be elevated to status of god as time goes on. And this cycle is revealed when they all adorn the same cloaks that we see in Fake Love. And this is the first time that they're wearing the cloaks. Because once again, On is in the past. But these cloaks become a symbol of destruction and rebirth. Which once again brings us to Fake Love where they get squished by the wall. Which I think is somewhere in our present timeline, but I will get there. We see this in other places in the present timeline as well. Such as in Dionysus or Hobie's Ego. And in Blood, Sweat, and Tears, of course, they are all after on storyline-wise, and they all reference gods, and BTS being gods, and there's a lot of evidence that BTS is related to the gods. I also have some ideas for what their god abilities would be, like how Hobie is probably an angel of death, or something along the lines of that. And there's evidence that Namjoon is Dionysus. Jin might be some god of time or something like that. Anyways, if you have better ideas for what gods they could possibly be or what they could be gods of, please leave it in the comment section below because I would love to hear that because I don't know what all of them would be at this point in time. But remember, they only take the status of a god. They're not actually gods, so they're not timeless. They're not immortal. But I believe that they are constantly reborn and that their person goes through similar circumstances every single time, and basically that cycle. And they always end up on Magic Island. If they're not there to begin with, they'll find a way there, or the island will find a way to bring them to it. On was the first time, the beginning of a cycle. And that's how the Save Me comic is the present, and how that probably leads us into the setting that the TXT and G Friend storylines take place in. Hi, it's Editing Lena back here again, and I just wanted to jump in really quickly with uh, some examples of what I was talking about. As I mentioned earlier, the whole Jungkook thing come, comes back again. So in this, he was very special, he was really good at things, and he had some special ability, and thus was cast out. That's in the On music video. But if you go back to like the I Need You era and in the Save Me webtoon, he's also getting targeted by possibly bullies or something, and being beaten up. People don't like it when you're special or good at things and society is taking itself out on him and then we have what i think is his shadow or a representative of his shadow taehyung Ta uh, taehyung even has the same thorns tattooed on his neck slash shoulder area and this is i think because he tends to take on other people's pain in this case it's represented 
with Jungkook's pain because he's the one who's like very obviously in pain in like a very physical sense because he has the thorn bracelet. And he said something really interesting in the video that also the actor he was with said um, that she is his sister, his little sister. And we know that in um, Taehyung's original storyline, he's protecting his sister from his father. And I'm not sure if you're already seeing the parallels here, but I think he like blindfolded the sister in On so that she wouldn't see the horrors of the fight or the war, whatever it was that they did. He takes it off now and she can see the wall. She kind of shows the wall to him, I think. And that same parallel is shown again and again. For example, everyone mentioned that uh, Taehyung and the girl, his sister, kind of look like the pair and make it right. And in that video, what does he do? He slays a dragon. Really interesting. Because doesn't he do that exact thing to his father in the main series one? So I'm guessing the Make It Right music video is somewhere in between on and the present storyline. And the dragon is representative of what his father is, just like how the war was for that. And in every iteration, he's doing something that people might consider more of the shadow because the shadow is something that you don't want to look at or acknowledge and he literally becomes a murderer in the present timeline and that's something that you might not want to look at like people don't want to think about that right and he literally becomes that so that's why he is representing the shadow it even says a shadow like me like written on his cheek in the like kinetic manifesto film so and of course, if you are the past and the present, you will probably also be the future. Because the cycle goes around and around again for an eternity. It's like a circle. Which is ironic, because in this song, We Are Bulletproof, The Eternal, they actually mention the first fight, which we see in On. The idea of eternity is not new for this universe at all. It is talked about a lot in the TXT album Dream Chapter Magic, and in fact at the 2019 MAMA Awards for TXT, we were shown that basically the next album is going to be called the next chapter Eternity. Literally. Eternity. And in this album, I bet you that we're gonna get a really good look at the world that was built by BTS, and we will explore it with TXT. And if that isn't all, at the end of the music video, it turns No More Dream into Dream, which once again brings us to the beginning, which was because No More Dream was their debut song. But also remember that TXT's album is called The Dream Chapter, both The Dream Chapter Star and The Dream Chapter Magic and The Dream Chapter Eternity. So this world is their first creation. A wonderful dream. A dream that becomes Magic Island and the Magic Shop. A dream that maybe sometimes turns itself into a nightmare. A physical manifestation of wishes, conscious or not. It's the thing that when you close your eyes, you dream for. So that hopefully when you open them again, you'll see your dreams come true. So that is how BTS On fits into the Big Hit universe. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I do have social media. I have a Twitter account where I post theories and just like fun stuff. Um, and I have an Instagram, both of which can be linked down below. Also, I make a lot of these fun theory videos and stuff, so subscribe. <laughs> Leave any of your questions down below and I'll try my best to answer them. And thank you guys again for watching and also thank you for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. I what? A thousand? <laughs> I feel really happy that we finally reached this milestone together, so yeah. But thank you guys so much. Stay sunny. See you next time. And from a psychology perspective, something that ch I love, Charles Young. Why do I always say Charles Young? This is like not the first time I've said Charles Young. Carl? Carl Young. Not Carl Jr., but Carl Young. <laughs> Probably an angel of death? What? <laughs> I'm recording a video. Don't mind me. <laughs> That's my roommate. But remember, they only take the status of a god. They aren't actually gods. So they're not time- So they're- So they're- Oh my lord. Okay. Bye!